everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Emily and here in front of me, I have set number 71399 Entryway. This is for ages seven and up. It has 504 pieces and it'll be retailing for 40 US dollars starting on January 1st. Thank you so much to Lego and Land for sending the set for review. However, all thoughts and opinions in this video are my own. As always, let's start by taking a look at the box. So over on the left hand side, you can see all of the set information, the logos, but also something really neat is that this is part of the Luigi's Mansion sub theme from Lego Super Mario. So this is one of three sets that are coming out in this wave and this is the medium size set. There's another set that's larger than this one but it's twice the price and then there's one a bit smaller than this that costs about $10 less. Essentially what this set is supposed to be is the entryway to Luigi's Mansion as shown in the first Luigi's Mansion game. It doesn't really look too much like the hotel from the third one or the second one but it's almost a perfect representation of what we see in the first game. And you'll notice over here that it says that it is an expansion set. You do need either the Luigi starter course or the Mario starter course to properly interact with this game. Mario is a ghost on here because he's not included in this set. As for the characters included in this set, we get the Polterpup, Bogmire, and Boo. Now these two are brand new characters, which is always really exciting from LEGO Super Mario. And then Boo is pretty much the same as what we've seen in the past. The printing is identical. However, the little connection is on the bottom of this one, whereas in the past, it's been a clip on the side. Now, when we turn the box around, you can see a better view of all the play features included here. This shows that you do need either the Mario or Luigi starter course. And we see some features from those starter courses here, such as the Bowser flag. But then looking down along the bottom, we get some little snaps snapshots of the play features showing the entryway and how you interact with that little bucket and well. You can also see Mario going through the gate as well as interacting with Polterpup. This is probably my favorite part. You get to feed Polterpup a bone, so that's really cute. Now before we take a look at this setup close, if you are brand new to this channel and you're into LEGO Super Mario, please do consider hitting that subscribe button down below. LEGO has sent me a bunch of the 2022 LEGO Super Mario sets for review, so I'll be putting those videos out throughout the week. All right, so here I have everything that comes in the set in front of me, and there's a lot of really cute little builds and characters going on here, so let's just get started. In the front here, we get a really detailed gate. Now, I love the use of pieces on either side as well as the top, and the gates themselves swing open very easily, as you can see. This makes it really easy for Luigi to walk into the set to start the course. And then on either side, we also get these blue flames, which are just like what we see in the game, so they really did pay a lot of attention to detail. I love it. And then looking over to the side here, there's not really too much to see in terms of builds, but when we get Bogmire out of the way, don't worry, we'll check out the characters later on, we do see this little graveyard scene. And then I do actually really like the use of these black spiky pieces. It makes it look very spooky. But then something kind of frustrating about this graveyard scene with Bogmire is the black shell. Now it looks like a black shell, right? It looks just like it. We've seen green shells in the past, so it looks very similar. However, this is just brick built. They didn't actually just switch out the color of the green one. This is 100% brick built and I am so sad about that. Like they already have the mold. I wish that they had made it in black. I just think that would have been really cool, but oh well. And then of course, finally, this is the main part of the build. This is the entryway to Luigi's Mansion. Now there's a lot to see here and I actually like this a lot more than I thought I would. When I saw that they were including essentially a part of a building in the Lego Super Mario theme, I was very excited. I love the bigger builds like this rather than the play sets and a bunch of plates just kind of connecting platforms together. And I think that this build as a facade looks really nice. I love the color combination. The emerald green is just perfect. And then the combination along the tops of tiles, but also having the studs on either side, just add that extra texture to it that I really do appreciate. And then looking to the middle, we get this giant archway. I love how detailed this is. It's simple, but it really looks good. We get these kind of fancy pieces in the middle there that we often see in the modulars. And then the columns kind of switching between the plain two by two round brick and then the textured one just looks really nice together. And then looking at the door, I'm gonna be honest, at first I did not like the design on this. I just thought it looked like they threw pieces together. However, after going back and looking at the opening scenes from the Luigi's Mansion game, it looks exactly like the door. Like they did a really good job with that. And at this small scale, I can imagine it would be really hard to use this kind of technique to make the door look like something from the video game, but I'm very impressed with it. But then check this out, this is really cool. When you move this platform back, the doors open. And I have to say the engineering in this set is really awesome. It's very cool and it's fun to play with. It's nice to have that kind of feature where Luigi is able to kind of step here and then really just push his way in to enter Luigi's mansion. But then something even cooler than the concept of having the doors open is how it actually works. So check this out. We have this gear here and you can open the doors by just twisting this around, which isn't too exciting, you know, kind of standard. However, they place these there 
and the gears kind of rotate around the studs in order to open the doors. I just think that is so cool. That is so clever and I have never seen that technique before, but now I really want to put it to the test and try it in my future mocks. I know I said it earlier that the engineering in this set is really impressive, but I'm going to say it again. This is really cool. So now before we get into the play features of this set, let's check out all the characters. So this one here is Polter Pup and you can see two different printed pieces, the eyes as well as the face. And I think they recreated this perfectly it looks just like what we've seen in the games. I love the red collar on him. And then on the back, the tail with that little slanted piece on top combination just looks great. Next, here we have Boo. I think this looks just so cute. Boo is one of my favorite characters, so it's really cool to get another version in Lego form. The first time that we saw Boo was in the Bowser's Castle set from the first wave of Lego Super Mario. However, this one is connected on the bottom, as you can see, whereas that one had a little hook on one of the sides that he used to attach himself onto one of the pillars. The printing looks fantastic. It looks just like what we've seen in the games. On top you can see the scan code for him, and then the little hands on either side are perfect. Finally, here we have the main boss for this level, Bogmire. I love the printing on this. I just think that looks incredible. All of the detail around the mouth is so nice. And then the eyes look very spooky, very perfect for a ghost from Luigi's Mansion. And then the technique for the arms is actually so cool. I love the use of those little horn pieces down there. It makes him look very spooky, kind of like he's wearing like a raggedy old cape. However, there is one big complaint about this character for me, and that's just how easy it is to break him. This tile here is not connected to the bottom at all, so I wish that there was a jumper or something because it's just really fragile. And especially if you're trying to defeat him with Luigi and he's laying down, it's very easy to possibly break him, as you can see. So while I like the character itself, it is very flimsy. All right, so now let's check out the playability of the set and how Luigi interacts with it. So as you can see with Luigi, he does have this backpack on and his outfit here only comes in the Lab and Poltergust expansion set. If you wanna interact with the set to the full potential and be able to actually defeat all the ghosts, you will need to purchase that Lab and Poltergust expansion set and that one retails for 30 US dollars. You can see my review of this set. I'll put it up in the cards. And in that video, I go a bit more in depth into this outfit and how that interacts with Luigi, but I'm letting you know all of that just so you know that his outfit here does not come with this set. So to start off, you take Luigi and you scan the start tile here, you go through the gates, you can defeat Boo, and in order to defeat Boo, you actually need to press this button here, and that turns into a swirl type effect, and that just allows you to defeat the ghosts in this set. And that effect stops a few seconds after you let go of the button. If you hold it briefly, it only stays on for a few seconds. So once you defeat Boo, you can come over and do the play feature with Bogmire, where essentially you just press down on this platform really hard and that knocks him over. At which point when you turn on the effect again, you can scan him and defeat him. And then we also have a really small play feature. What you're supposed to do here with Luigi is press down on this to raise up the bucket. And then at that point, this tile here is uncovered before you couldn't really scan it because the bucket was in the way. So that's kind of why you have to do that. And then you press him down onto the scanning thing and push him through the doors. Now, once he's on the other side of the doors, you can see that there's a little scan tile hidden down there. What you have to do is put Luigi onto this little rotating gear and close the doors. At that point, you can see the scan tile here with the bone on it. You have to scan that. At which point you take Luigi around the front side of the mansion and scan this tile here to give your polter pup a bone. Very cute. So now that you have a better feel for how Luigi interacts with this course, let's actually give it a try. But note real quick that I have brought in the Mario flag and the goal scanning tile from the Mario starter course. We have the start, so I thought it was appropriate to have an ending as well. All right, so let's get started. First, we have to scan the start tile, at which point you have 90 seconds to complete the course. We're gonna go through the gates and then we come across Boo. In order to defeat him, you have to press this button in the front until you see the swirl. and you only have to scan him four times in order to defeat him. Now let's set him aside and move over to Bogmire. In order to complete this part, you just press down on this to shoot the black shell at him. Awesome, I can't believe that actually worked. Again, we hold down the button and scan him 10 times. And that's how you defeat him and get all the coins. Set him aside and now it's time for the water well. This seems really weird, but essentially all you have to do is press down on there to lift up the bucket so that you can access the scan code. And then we can enter Luigi's Mansion. Once you get to the other side, you just step on this in order to close the gate, scan the little bone, feed that to Polter Pup. And that's everything. We're gonna scan the end goal. And let's see how many coins we have. 
25. Awesome. Overall, this set is one of my favorites from the new wave of LEGO Super Mario coming in 2022. I love the facade and actually getting a building in this is really exciting. The playability is also pretty fun. I wish that there was a little bit more to it. It seems kind of weird that one of the main play features is feeding your polter pup a bone, but it's kind of cute at the same time. But something nice about this set, as well as the other Luigi's Mansion sets, is that Mario or Luigi work with it. And of course you want Luigi, it's Luigi's Mansion. It makes a lot more sense, but if you only have Mario, that will Will work with this set. However, once again, one thing that I really don't like about this set is that the outfit you need in order for Luigi to interact with this properly only comes in another expansion set and it's $30. I wish that it was just like a $10 standalone power-up pack. I think that would have been a lot better. That being said though, what are your thoughts on this set? How does it rank among the other Mario sets coming in 2022? Let me know your thoughts all down in the comments below. And again, if you're new to this channel and you enjoy LEGO Super Mario, please do consider hitting that subscribe button down below. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time.